Hey, it's Rob. I'm on, I'm on the other side of the camera. Uh, got something that I wanted to show you. These are flicker flame lights. Well, they have three modes. One is full on, one is fade, and the third one is this. Kind of a cool flicker flame effect. And they're not perfect, but they're not too bad. They actually have a fairly nice, I mean, if you look at the, uh, let's see, let's turn this down. I mean, that's pretty believable as light coming from a fire. So, I kind of like these. Some other neat stuff about them. Notice that, if it, that the fire is on the bottom and it goes this way going up. And if you turn it upside down, it reverses. So you can have these in sconces that are either um, normally mounted with the uh, you know the bulb up or bulb down. So if you wanted to mount these in sconces by your door or something like that, they work really well. So I got a couple of these. Well, I got uh, I think I got six, and uh, it turns out that they come two in a, two in a box. And I got a couple that had broken loose, so I took them apart. And this is what they look like. There's three ICs in here. Uh, two of them look like they're some sort of drivers and this one is unlabeled. I'm guessing that this is a special purpose microcontroller. And then all these different LEDs. You know, there's you know, a little, probably a regulator down here. Capacitor. And that's it. I mean, there's nothing else. On there. Dogs are being healthy. This is a little uh, power supply. A little, I was hoping it would be a power supply. Yeah, you can see how you know, this one broke off in shipping. So, yeehaw. Um, thank you, Piper. So, when I was fooling around with the meter, I measured these, and it turns out that this is 12 volts DC. And that makes me very, very happy. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull this off of here, rewire these for 12 volts, and put them in some sconces. So, we'll get back to that in a second. Whoa. All right, so these are the sconces that I've got. It's kinda tough to see. I took it apart already. But these are uh, hanging ones. I don't know if I want them to be hanging. I might mount them the other way, but it's kind of tough because this doesn't come off. Um, but anyway, this has got a, a little 12 volt bulb in there, a little landscape bulb. But this has got four panes of this sort of frosted textured glass, and I'm thinking that this might look pretty cool in there. So we're going to find out. Absolutely fascinating watching me solder. I'm just tinning these leads. Because I'm going to want to solder them onto something on the inside at some point. But mostly because I have them out now and they're accessible, it's just easier to do it now. So there you get an idea of what it looks like when it's out of the case. Huh. Kind of interesting. Alright, let's see what this looks like inside the... Uh, bit too diamondy but dunk on that's not bad. Let's see what happens if we put on the cover. Where's the covers? Where'd they go? There there. That looks 
pretty good. I think I can live with that. <laughs> yeah, okay. Know what I gotta do next. Alright, so this is just a rough rough mount. This is just sticking it on using that existing uh, existing clip for the light. Um, it probably won't work in the long run, but it's good to give me an idea of what it's going to look like. Well, that's not going to work either. Alright. I have to figure something out, so uh, I'll be back after I get that figured out. So I went down to the hardware store and did a little bit of digging around, and what I found were these pipe couplers and a couple of adapters that can go in here. These ears are just a little bit too wide to fit in, uh, but I can take care of that with a sander. Trim down those edges and then this will fit inside. can glue these in, and then these attach to the tops. So for instance, take this one, put it through here, screw it in, and we're set to go. So then these will sit up in here, and I can adjust them to the depth that I want. So I think we're going to try that, see how that works. We'll be back in a little bit. I'm going to sand these down so that they fit all proper. All right, we have success. I was able to uh, knock these edges down a little bit to a point where it is just about stinking perfect to, well, fits inside here just like that. This one I was a little overzealous, took off a bit much, but that's okay. Too much means that I can glue it in pretty easily. This one's got a pretty nice friction fit. Okay. I think now what I need to do is add some wire onto these to get them to a good length so that I can feed it through the top and get some power to it. Got some of this nice uh, 14 gauge white, well, no, this isn't the 14 gauge, this is uh, 22, I think, or 20, something like that. And we're going to peel off a good bit of that. I think that'll be enough. <laughs> I know this is exciting.
on, fade, and frame mode. And so that's what it looks like. Crank up the light a little bit so you can get the idea of it in its hanging state. But that's pretty decent. I'm pretty happy with that. I think I'm going to do something with the inside because yeah, I don't think you can see it quite as well here, but the, the shape of the individual LEDs is more visible through the glass than it looks in the, uh, in the video. But still, I'm pretty happy. All right, I'm gonna put the other one together. I won't show you, it's pretty much the same thing. There we go. I got two of them working. I'll probably do some upgrades to them later, but for right now, they are plenty good enough. I think I'll probably use these for next Halloween. Not entirely sure I might find a use for them in between, but for right now, I think we're done. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>